A complex world, one that grows more uncertain and dangerous with each passing day. For more than 15 years, our Army has focused on winning against asymmetrical adversaries. And the Army is still engaged today with our joint partners, Marines, Navy, and Air Force around the world. We haven't had the luxury of planning for future fights. The Army was focused on developing requirements for current threats as they evolved. Meanwhile, our enemies modernized and became more capable than ever before. In a fiscally constrained environment, the Army is shifting focus on required capabilities. This approach allows leaders to make decisions on what is needed based on analytical data and fact, ensuring overmatch now and well into the future with both allied and joint partners. To stay ahead of determined adversaries, our Army has adopted a construct of think, learn, analyze, implement. Army leaders must think clearly and establish scenarios covering a range of military operations and phases of operations for consistent use across the capabilities development community. They must think about future armed conflict and implications. They learn about the future through the Army's campaign of learning, which is both physical and intellectual activities that develop solutions to warfighting challenges. Army soldiers and civilians develop solutions for our leadership through intense and rigorous analytical processes, like the CNA, to identify those critical capability gaps that pose the greatest risk to our future land forces, and those solutions that best mitigate the risks. These processes ensure our land forces can accomplish their mission with both joint and coalition forces now and well into the future. Finally, leaders use this analysis to implement solutions to improve combat effectiveness of current and future land forces because land forces will fight as part of a joint, inter-organizational, and multinational team. The operating environment of the future is complex, consisting of contested domains, lethal battlefields, dispersed organizations, and degraded operations. Because U.S. enemies threaten our advantage across a multi-domain battlefield, our Army must project power across all domains to ensure joint force freedom of action. Our adversaries are becoming more capable. They try to disrupt our ability to fight as a joint force. So our Army must operate across wide areas with the ability to concentrate rapidly when required. Our adversaries avoid U.S. strengths and try to emulate our capabilities. Our Army must see, fight, learn, and adapt operations across wide areas while maintaining contact with our enemies across this multi-domain battlefield. Our enemies will attack systems which are critical for Army and joint operations. Our Army is designing and employing cross-domain capabilities that are resilient, hardened, and degrade gracefully while under attack. To ensure our victory on a multi-domain battlefield, our Army has identified capabilities requiring further attention. Critical to facilitating the identified capabilities is developing systems that fit the soldier, not systems that soldiers must adapt to. Putting the soldier first is the foundation for current and future capabilities development. Soldier and team, performance and overmatch. Our task is like no other. It is to win in the unforgiving crucible of ground combat. We must ensure our soldiers remain the foundation of our ground forces through our joint and international partners to remain the world's premier combat force. Readiness for ground combat is a top priority. Future vertical lift, including scout, assault, and attack helicopters. Combat vehicles that offer enhanced mobility, traffic ability, protection, firepower. Our Army is focused on the combat vehicle modernization strategy, and it serves to guide resourcing, prioritization, and production. Cross-domain fires that encompass long-range precision fire, AESA Sentinel, high-energy lasers, counter UAS mobile integrated capabilities, terrain shaping obstacles, and families of networked munitions. Advanced protection for both air and ground forces, as well as advanced threat detection systems and hostile fire indicators. Expeditionary Mission Command and Cyber Electromagnetic includes wireless command posts common operating environments, cyber situational awareness, offensive and defensive cyber operations, electronic warfare, and position, navigation, and timing. American military power is joint, 
inter-organization, and multinational, and depends on Mission Command Network. Robotics and autonomous systems, including leader follower and squad multipurpose equipment transports, to improve situational awareness and lighten the warfighter's physical and cognitive workloads. All of these capabilities are in direct support of multi-domain battle. Multi-domain battle calls for ready ground combat forces capable of outmaneuvering adversaries through combined arms across all domains. Future ground forces integrate and synchronize capabilities to create temporary windows of superiority across multiple domains. Seize, retain, exploit the initiative, and achieve military objectives. We live in a challenging and dangerous world where our enemy's capabilities and determination continue to improve. Some are even approaching near-peer status. We must stay focused on ready land forces and its importance for protecting our nation and securing our vital interests against determined and near-capable enemies. Knowing that land forces underscore the foundational capabilities of the army that we need to prevent wars and shape security environments, we also recognize that to deter enemies and reassure our allies, ground forces will continue to conduct sophisticated expeditionary maneuver, as well as joint combined arms and multinational operations. Conflicts in the future, like those in the past, will ultimately be resolved on land. That's why we must focus on identified critical capabilities in support of our land forces in a multi-domain battlefield. America's Army. Ready today, preparing for the future.